Hello friends and welcome back to Picture Astrology. In this quick snap video, we will learn about placement of Jupiter in the sign of Capricorn for a Capricorn Ascendant Horoscope. So we are going to have a chart with Capricorn rising. That means first house will contain the 10th sign of Capricorn and Jupiter will be placed here in the debilitated position. So this video is also about Jupiter debilitated in first house and that will only happen when there is Capricorn rising chart. So when we have a horoscope with Capricorn ascendant that is the 10th sign rising then Jupiter becomes Lord of the 12th house and 3rd house because 12th house contains the sign of Sagittarius and 12th house contains the sign of Pisces and both of these signs Pisces and Sagittarius are ruled by uh, Jupiter and since Jupiter is present in the first house so first house third house and twelfth house will be impacted by either the lordship of Jupiter or by its presence now in Vedic astrology Jupiter is also assigned some special aspects Jupiter aspects fifth seventh and ninth house from itself so these houses and its significations will have a direct effect of this Jupiter. So you see six houses in your horoscope will be directly affected by any placement of Jupiter when it comes to the Capricorn Ascendant. And if we minutely look at this placement, we can understand in great details various aspects of your life pertaining to all these areas but in this quick snap video we will concentrate mainly on some of the most important and practical aspects of this placement aspects which you can see and feel in your daily life including some suggestions which can improve this particular placement of Jupiter so let's talk about first thing first people who generally have this kind of placement of Jupiter in the first house they come to me often worried because Jupiter in first house is always extolled in all the Vedic astrology text it is known to give protection from hundreds or thousands of evils of a chart it is also known to give a very lucky disposition and also a very blissful life and yet this Jupiter is in debilitated state in the Capricorn sign. So when such an extolled placement is found in debilitated sign, people either come to me, you know, worried or afraid about how it is going to behave. So let's talk about these three things. It is practically experienced that even though this Jupiter is in debilitated sign, it does protect a person from many things in life now at the very least what it does is it will always give you a good image in the public society so even if there are problems in your life they will not come and kind of gets displayed to the public in general you know those problems will remain with you your image will always be pretty good and that's one of the thing or one of the meanings when Vedic text says that Jupiter in the first house removes hundreds of evils basically what it says is at least with this placement even though it is debilitated that even if you have problems with yourself with your family they will remain within a limited boundary and you will not get any bad name because of that second it is known to be very lucky happy go lucky disposition you know people with this placement are generally known to born with you know in a good family with all wants of life supplied and if moon is also very well placed with the strong Jupiter in the first house then this is known or can be called as you know uh, people who have born with silver spoon they should have a very strong and benefic Jupiter in the first house along with good moon's placement and it is also known to give us blissful life now with these two things especially with the blissful life which is kind of described as you know person 
happy by his own nature you know doesn't even if there are some material difficulty jupiter in the first house gives a person a nice philosophical outlook and they are able to see the larger picture of the life and always remain happy and blissful so that's the commonly known outcome of jupiter in the first house when it is very benefic with the debilitated jupiter in the first house as we discuss removal of many shortcomings true it happens happy go lucky and blissful uh people they will be lucky and will be blissful but they are not going to be happy without a good material possession in them you know people with this placement they have to be successful in the worldly life otherwise it is a placement which gives them a lot of restlessness and they also at least this placement doesn't give like a you know happy go lucky person they are the people who believe in making their own luck they actually work very hard and eventually become successful because of their own efforts and that's primarily because jupiter is lord of the third house third house among many things is known as house of courage in vedic astrology and by courage what it really means is the kind of action oriented personality you are how easily you take action and in other words it can also mean your own personal struggles so people with this whenever third house lord is in the first house especially in the 10th sign which is the sign of peak material gains capricorn is known as the adi bhutika sign in vedic astrology which basically means people who are born with strong capricorn they are born to work hard in this physical world they are born to uplift their personal self their family and also their society with economical and financial activities you know not with philosophy or not with religious and spiritual pursuits but with hardcore physical material gains by setting up factories shops means of employment not for only themselves but for others you know strong capricorn is always associated with any kind of business and financial activity so this jupiter will make a person happy and blissful when they attain great material success and they work really hard lord of third house in the first house work really really hard to achieve that success and if they don't get the success they really become restlessness or restful uh, or a kind of restlessness creeps in them until they achieve this material prosperity so overall this is a great placement to have even though jupiter is in the debilitation sign now let's talk about some of the practical aspects of all these areas which we have listed so jupiter's presence in the first house does provide a very good personality a magnetic and attractive personality again even though jupiter is in debilitation and people with this placement they love to spend money on themselves 12th lord 12th house is the house of expenditure and first house in the sign of capricorn which is the sign of physical things you know people with this kind of placement of jupiter they would love to spend money and spend on themselves too you know buy a lot of clothes buy a lot of jewelries they have love for all kind of physical things we have third lord again jupiter in the first house so typically people with this placement they have two three siblings unless there are negative aspects or negative influences on third house or jupiter typically this placement is known to give two to three siblings and in general good relationship with the brothers and sisters as well now jupiter here has an aspect on the 5th house and 7th house and these houses are closely related to your family because 7th house is your spouse or your partners and 5th house is your kids now overall in general 
Jupiter's aspect on 5th and 7th is always extolled. It is always known to be a very benefic aspect. But in this case, though it is benefic, it will always cause delay in getting formally married as well as getting kids. Now, if there are other factors which negate this influence like Mercury or Moon placed in say 7th house, then the marriage could be during the normal age. However, if we just talk about this placement of Jupiter, there is invariably a delay in getting married as well as in getting kids that is in starting the family. However, if there are no other negative influence, then this aspect definitely shows that eventually a person enjoys a very good family life, a good spouse, good kids, nonetheless always associated with delays and even possibly you know some restlessness or some medical treatment etc so friends with this i'm going to stop uh, in this quick snap analysis of jupiter in capricorn in the first house i sincerely hope you like this analysis please do like and subscribe to my channel to receive more updates and also get an update when i post the detailed video in which we will talk about in-depth analysis of this jupiter for all these areas I really thank you for being with me so far and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.